Athletes are on the way back to the States and First Coast News caught up with Garrett Scantling as he landed at Jacksonville Airport last night. Tonight, photojournalist Emily Feltz shows us what's next for this Olympian. USA! 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 This is family. Uh, we weren't able to get to Tokyo to support Garrett when we wanted to be there. We have to hold our celebration until he gets back. He needs it. He needs his family. It was awesome. All these people are behind me. It's a great feeling to know that you're loved and cared about. It's amazing. It is awesome. We we probably had about 75 people or more. <laughs> I think he shown everyone what a decathlete is. I went there and took care of business, and it stinks that they couldn't be there with me, but I always carry each and every one of these people with me wherever I go. And the flight was canceled. And then today, he had a heck of a run this year, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh, yeah, you already know. Yeah. 20, 20. <laughs> wow, he arrived home to a big entourage cheering him on. He placed fourth in the decathlon for the Tokyo Olympics. He also set a personal best record in the 1500 meter. He is making the first coast proud. Yes, he is indeed. Another Olympian also arrived home today. Andre Degrassi lives in Jacksonville and ran track for Canada in the Olympics. This is new video as he arrived at the airport this afternoon. He got the gold in the 200 meter race beating the U.S.